Hey guys, Pedro V here, so let's talk about this real quick. How is it that this video came on Facebook Live, was contained before virally spreading, but was uploaded to TikTok, gained so much attention that it made it go viral, and now they struggle to contain it? This seems deliberate that they can't handle the spread of people spreading this video almost as if they really want people to stop using TikTok in general because of the whole TikTok ban and everything else. The U.S. is reportedly weighing a ban on TikTok. Now to President Trump's threat to ban TikTok, the widely popular but Chinese-owned video sharing app. And the president insists that he does have the authority to ban the app. He is going to ban TikTok here in the United States. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. We may be doing some other things or a couple of options. But a lot of things are happening, so we'll see what happens. But we are looking at a lot of alternatives with respect to TikTok. So is there a way to further push their agenda to get people to stop using TikTok? So yes, videos can go viral because people are curious and watch the video and it gets shared and spread online like wildfire. But tech companies also can control the algorithm to these things and suppress a video from staying viral. I think the big issue on TikTok is literally whether the user base is going to flee over the next 45 days. You obviously saw Facebook uh, through the Instagram product come out with Reels, which is basically a copycat service of it. And you're seeing people migrate over there, though. Yeah. I don't know if you're on it right now. You're seeing a lot of actually just TikTok videos uh, effectively being you know, republished over there. So the question is sort of whether people leave. And if they do, what value is lost? There could be other entities involved in making it harder for TikTok to counter it or there could be insiders destroying it from the inside. There's many speculations from this and theories, but in reality, we know they want to get rid of TikTok and stop everyone from using it because it's owned by the Chinese and they're accusing them of spying and other things. And I said, look, it can't be controlled for security reasons by China. Would you recommend that people download that app on their phones? Only if you want your private information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. The WeChat order says the app captures info from users that could be accessed by the Chinese Communist Party. The larger debate over a deal for TikTok revolves around Chinese control of the app and, and security issues that could present. So how real of a threat is that? And would a deal by Microsoft solve that problem? So is this video being used to further politicize their agenda from, from their original TikTok band from the U.S.? There was a 45-day deadline, which ends on the 15th of September. And no surprise, this is all being brought up now. President Trump is making good on his threat to crack down on two popular Chinese-owned social media apps. He's signed executive orders banning TikTok and WeChat from operating in the U.S. within 45 days. We set a date, I set a date of around September 15th, at which point it's going to be out of business in the United States. But if somebody, and whether it's... Uh, Microsoft or somebody else buys it, that'll be interesting. Maybe a deal is going to be made. It's a great asset. It's a great asset, but it's not a great asset in the United States unless they have the approval of the United States. So it'll close down on September 15th unless Microsoft or somebody else is able to buy it and work out a deal, an appropriate deal, so the Treasury of the, really the Treasury, I guess you would say, of the United States gets a lot of money, a lot of money. And now they're urging parents who have their kids to stay off TikTok for a few days. Not a coincidence. Uh, what, what does this mean in terms of how you try and put evaluation on any of it? It was one thing when the president said he wanted a cut of it. Now you're trying to figure out if there's uh, how valuable the property would be 45 days from now. I mean, that is a mess. I think you're what you're literally I think they're literally watching the numbers on a daily basis and try to see, you know, how, 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 how many people flee. What does the user base look like? Does it change? I think within 45 days, if they can instill enough confidence in the business, um, and the president has made comments that have been positive about the Microsoft transaction, that maybe you hold on to those, hold on to those customers. So I don't know. It's going to be fascinating to watch.